Imagine a fire breaking out in your workplace. Do you know which extinguisher to use? Getting it wrong could make the situation far worse. Fires aren't all the same, and choosing the right method to extinguish them is critical. In this video, we're going to dive deep into understanding the different types of fires and the specific extinguishers that can save lives. Whether you're an experienced HSE professional or new to safety, this guide will give you the knowledge to handle any fire emergency with confidence. Ready to master fire safety? Let's get started. To fully understand how to fight fires, you first need to understand the theory behind them. Fire requires three components to ignite and sustain itself. Heat, fuel, and oxygen. These three elements form what's known as the fire triangle. If any one of these elements is removed, the fire will extinguish. The goal of any fire extinguisher is to remove or reduce one of these components, but how this is done varies depending on the type of fire. Let's talk about fire classes, which are divided based on the material that is burning and the method required to extinguish them. The first is Class A fires, which involve ordinary combustible materials like wood, paper, cloth, and rubber. These are probably the most common fires you'll encounter, and they can be safely extinguished using water-based fire extinguishers. Water cools down the heat, which removes one part of the fire triangle, allowing the fire to die out. Imagine you're at a campsite and a small fire starts from some dry leaves. This is a classic example of a Class A fire. Moving on to Class B fires, these involve flammable liquids such as gasoline, oil, and paints. Class B fires are particularly dangerous because they spread rapidly, and using water to extinguish them can make things worse by causing the burning liquid to splash. For these fires, you need foam or carbon dioxide extinguishers. Foam extinguishers cover the fire in a thick layer that blocks oxygen, while carbon dioxide extinguishers displace the oxygen around the fire, effectively suffocating it. Picture a kitchen where oil catches fire. This would be a Class B fire situation. Next up is Class C fires, which involve electrical equipment like wires, circuit breakers, and machinery. These fires pose a unique challenge because you cannot use water to extinguish them. Water conducts electricity and can lead to electrocution if sprayed on electrical fires. For Class C fires, carbon dioxide or dry powder extinguishers are your best bet. These extinguishers eliminate oxygen without risking electric shock. Think about an electrical short circuit that sparks a fire in a server room. That's a typical Class C fire scenario. Another less common but equally dangerous category is Class D fires, which involve flammable metals like magnesium, titanium, or aluminum. These fires occur primarily in industrial settings and are particularly challenging to handle. Water and even foam are ineffective here, so dry powder extinguishers specifically designed for metal fires are used. These extinguishers work by smothering the fire, cutting off oxygen, and isolating the heat. Imagine a manufacturing plant where small metal shavings ignite from friction. This would be a Class D fire. Finally, we have Class K fires, which involve cooking oils and fats. These are typically found in commercial kitchens where large quantities of oil are used. Pouring water on a grease fire is extremely dangerous, as it can cause the oil to splash and spread the fire even further. Instead, wet chemical extinguishers are used. These work by cooling the fire and forming a soap-like solution that cuts off the oxygen supply. Think of a deep fryer catching fire in a restaurant. This is the perfect example of a Class K fire. Now that we've covered the different types of fires, here's a question for you. Have you ever had to use a fire extinguisher at work or home? What kind of fire was it, and how did you handle the situation? Let me know in the comments below. It's important to note that fire extinguishers are not one size fits all. Always make sure you have the correct type of extinguisher for the potential fire hazards in your environment. For example, in an office setting, you'll need to have extinguishers ready for electrical fires. While in a restaurant, having a Class K extinguisher on hand is essential for grease fires. Before we wrap up, if you're serious about workplace safety and want to show your commitment, 
check out our hsebox.com merchandise. We've got some cool t-shirts and cups that are perfect for the safety-minded professional. Click the link in the description to grab yours today. That's it for today's video on the different types of fires and the extinguishers you need to stay safe. Fire safety is all about understanding the risks and being prepared for any situation. What are your thoughts? Have you experienced any unique fire situations at your workplace? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to tell us what topics you'd like us to cover in future videos. Before you go, make sure to subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell, and visit hseboxcom for more safety tips and awesome merch. Stay safe and see you in the next video.